President Obama is meeting with power players in Congress and the intelligence community this week as he mulls changes in the way the NSA obtains information. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge on just how bad the initial leaking of those secrets is turning out to be. A classified report from the Defense Intelligence Agency concludes that NSA leaker Edward Snowden downloaded 1.7 million intelligence files. It is described by the House Intelligence Committee leadership who made the findings public as, quote, the single largest theft of secrets in the history of the United States. Most of the documents, according to the report, relate to U.S. military operations, and the public exposure is having negative consequences. Quote, Snowden's acts of betrayal truly place America's military men and women in greater danger around the world. The findings came to light as 16 lawmakers, including the leadership of the Intelligence and Judiciary Committees, went to the White House. The administration barred media access and no photo was provided of the meeting. Participants described an intense discussion with both the vice president and Mr. Obama. He didn't just come in and uh, make a, a couple of uh, supportive statements and disappear. He was with us for 45 minutes. It is incumbent upon the president to exercise uh, leadership and I think he will. Sources familiar with the White House review believe the president is strongly considering steps to rein in the surveillance of foreign leaders and access to Americans' phone records. White House spokesman Jay Carney. He is still soliciting input, which he did today. Before the session, a leading NSA critic said there is no justification for the status quo. The government's arguments for this very expansionary version of collecting essentially uh, millions of records on law-abiding Americans is falling apart. The president is expected to publicly address NSA reform as early as next week. Today, both Republicans and Democrats said there will need to be legislative input, and Mr. Obama's reforms will not be the final word on the NSA. Brett. Kevin, thank you. Now